Okay, I'm going to show you some accessibility features for the Chromebook. Some things that might help you or your students. So the first thing we're going to do is go into your settings. So click on your little icon down here in the corner and the gear for settings. We're first going to turn on speak selection or text to speech so that students could have things on the screen read to them. So we're going to scroll all the way down to advanced and keep scrolling down to get to accessibility manage accessibility features here's where you can turn on the enable select to speak and the shortcut for this is search plus s so search is a little magnifier key magnifying glass key and the s there's some other features in here that might be useful for your students, different um, contrast, display, keyboard settings. And if you click on open keyboard device settings and view keyboard shortcuts, you can see what shortcuts are already built in. So some of these are just the popular shortcuts like copy and pasting. If you click down here to accessibility, you can see different um, accessibility shortcut keys built into the keyboard for highlighting, zooming, um, having it read Chromebox will read, have you give you spoken feedback as you're doing stuff. So there's where you can find those items. Another useful tool to use along with text to speech is speech to text. So being able to use voice typing this is also built into um, Google Docs already. So when you are in Google Docs, you're able to use voice typing. You're also able to use it in the Google search. You'll see when you're in the Chrome, Chrome browser, there's a little um, microphone next to the search bar. So you can click on the microphone and use voice typing there. When you're in Google Docs, You can click on tools once it finishes loading. Tools and voice typing. And now I have that microphone off to the side. When I click on the microphone, it's going to ask me whether or not I want to allow. You have to choose allow. Now I am able to use voice typing, period. New line. I click the microphone to turn it back off. And then we'll have it read back to me. You may hear an echo in the video, but when you use it in person, it will not echo. So I'm going to hold down the search and S. Now I am able to use voice typing. So there's a couple accessibility features to use with your students on their Chromebooks. I hope this helps.